Seems like the housing, public housing units is where uh, some of the, like what would you say, that, like there's a lot of crimes there? Like, are within. I just, I talked to like hear it. So you're talking about the public housing areas? The public housing areas. Which I've not been to any of those, but you can, you can watch the Facebook comments and stuff and well, the news and I've, see where they're. Well, I I hear in Fort Marine that they're getting rid of a lot of those. They're turning a lot of them down. That's what I hear. Mm, I haven't heard that one. I mean, like in Alabama, you know, they have them all over. The, they have them all over. And they have them in the main cities and in smaller cities. Let's see. Go through here. I mean, we have some beautiful areas here, beautiful parks. Like what? If I just, if I keep going straight down that way, what will I run into? Will it be? You're gonna run into one of the retail places. You're gonna run into Walmart's down there. Okay, that's a few grocery stores, stuff like that. Okay, that's all part for me, right? Right. Okay, I'm going out there in a second. I don't think I covered that on any of my other videos. Romanade Park, I think, is probably one of the most beautiful places here. And if I was able to record parks, I'd be more than happy to go there. Well, see, Promenade, you can record by the from the street. It's right on the river, and they got a huge housing development going up right next to it. Brand new. Is it close to here, or? It's going to be downtown, right. so it's four miles think, away. Okay, I think, honestly, rather... So if I go further that way, I'll just run into, like, another commercial area, right? Yeah, you're just going to run into... Yeah, no, forget that. We'll just, we'll, just, <laughs> right. we'll just head downtown. I don't think people want to... I think people rather see that than up in the commercial areas. Right. That was one of the things that I found unique when I first got here, just navigating around with you. I found the mall and everything, and then I drove to the other side of town. I'm like, I found it. Like, I found a whole other thing, like miles of stores. And I mean, it'll run a few miles of just like the different standalone stores on the different sides of town. My car, it's convenient to get around for sure. But yeah, honestly, I've, you know, when I first left the city, I never really thought about moving back to the city. And even when I do look at houses, I, I mean, there's a part of me that's kind of like I live in the city. Because by now, you know, you know, as people, I mean, as I told people on this channel, I mean, I live in rural Alabama. Right. where you got a good half to an acre of land between you and your neighbors. So when I looked at houses here in Fort Wayne, I'm not gonna lie, it was kinda like, man, it's, man, it's clustered around here. Mm. Now this looks like this is, must be in the Burmese area. Hit downtown. Will this street take me straight downtown? You can go that way, yeah. Right. Turn forward map. Yeah, 100 feet. Take a right. But yeah, I mean, when it comes to DoorDash, I'd rather do DoorDash here in Fort Wayne than. Like I said before, and then in any city it's in Alabama. Now we door dashed here a couple days, and uh, then you can go left at the stoplight. That was like 124 dollars, like two days. I'm gonna just kiss. I'm gonna stay on this one for a minute. Oh. Because I don't want people to see different stuff. Oh now what, what were you saying about door dashing now? It's like $127 in like two days. 
120 in two days? Six hours. Okay, well, that's, I mean, that's okay. I mean, I, I mean, I think it'd be 106 hours. So that's like 120 in two days. So that's, that's so eight hours, 100. I mean, that's that's okay. That's, I mean, it's, I mean, that's okay. Well, six hours total over two days because I, I was just. So that's three hours a day then? Yeah, three hours a day, 124. So it's $120 per six hours. Yep. Well, that's not bad at all. Mm -mm. The tips were, the tips in DoorDash was doing good. That I day. mean, you know, as long as you have a fuel efficient car, like you get to a Honda Civic, you're good to go. There's a lot of Uber in this town too. So, so, so people, if you want to move to Fort Wayne, this is a good city to do gig work. See, I knew there was a reason why I looked. I was here in Fort Wayne. You think Instacart's full right now, but it's what Dash is. My door Dash goes off. I says we're busy. Like we need drivers. So what you said was full again? You said Instacart was full. Instacart showing that they're full. Uh, but they got other stuff in Fort Wayne too. Right. I mean, they probably. Now, now me personally, I'm. Uh, I'm. I don't know about doing Uber. Mm -hmm. I don't want people in my car like that. Right. I see a lot of drivers though that do do and they really like doing their That's the thing, I, I'm just not, you know, it's having other people in a car like that, I'm, I'm just not sure about that. I mean, I'm, it's good money. Right. It, well, it can be, but I'm just, I don't know, just something about having other people in my car. I'm just not sure about that. <laughs> Now, I'll see, like I had when I was using Uber pretty heavy, I mean, you would get retired, elderly, I mean, I, I'm using the Uber to compensate to pay the bills. Hello, kitty. Over here, you know the rules. I'm driving. You can't be up on the on on the dash. Oh, there's something else you wanted to show me. Remember? Promenade. Uh, yeah, they had like a bunch of stuff they did during the pandemic. Yeah, and then the art. You got that type? You got that in your phone? Yep. Or it's giving us the directions to Promenade okay. right now. Okay. Okay. So it's gonna it. be right. two point three miles from okay. return. Yeah, see, once you get promenade and the art walk, all that stuff is right, okay. like centrally located close together. Yeah, we're gonna go do that. But the art walk, there's certain places where they have the murals, but some of them, you can walk down the alleys and they've did all the alleys with murals. Some of them have lights. There's one that has a light sculpture, like an art installation made with light. And other ones where they have just like the little party lights you can sit down, walk through the murals. I mean, they've made it a, a whole experience. Yeah, I mean, Fort Marine doesn't seem like a bad place at all, for the most part. I don't know. I mean, but, this, this area here would be like an area that I've heard people be like, oh, don't be careful in that area. I mean, it's not. You don't hear a lot of people being like, oh, I'm scared. That's another thing too. See, like this is a magnet school over here. See where it says STEM yep. magnet. Fort Wayne has a lottery where you can get like they have different specialty in their grade schools and stuff. And if you get in the lottery, you put your kid in there and you 
if you, of course, your name get picked, your kid can go one of the special specialized schools. Like there's an arts grade school, a STEM school. That sounds like some gift and talented type stuff. Mm -hmm. But like, in, if you get in the lottery, you get get in there. You're like, like how how do they that. how will they get into the lottery? I mean. What? The parent just applies for their child to go there. Okay, so okay, so anybody can so anybody can enroll in the lottery there. Right. I looked into it and I thought it was really nice because not all children are gonna excel at the basic, you know, math, English, all that stuff. That's not where their their interests are. But if they can catch it with the arts and stuff like that. They can get the early education going on. Get the kids oh, going man. through. Uh, there we go. I would have to look it up, but there's several different specialties for those magnet schools. There's a lot. The recovery services that are available. I've talked to several people that come into Fort Wayne just for the recovery services that Fort Wayne had going on for, you know, drug and alcohol and stuff like that. I think that's what has kind of contributed to the homeless that they come for the services and I'm going to say I mean, just to stumble with the transition out. Okay, so they come here, so they might come here to Fort Wayne for some of the homeless services, I mean, for the drug and alcohol services. Mm hmm And then there's the... And then once they complete the course, they have trouble... All right, the transition. The transition back into general society. Like throughout the city, like in, in public areas and stuff, you'll find the little trail maps that you can just pick up the libraries and stuff. Oh, here's Washington. They also have one of the biggest genealogy libraries in the United States. Oh, here in Fort Wayne? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's housed underneath the library. I mean, like, I mean, I think Fort Wayne, I mean, I think all in all, Fort Wayne's a good city. Damn, yeah, for what, for its size, it's, 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 it's done amazing I compared mean, to what some of the other communities had happened during 19. I mean, you know, This I right can, here, that's Indiana Tech, which we're driving by right now. This is their housing. Okay. No, I didn't do that. I, I was not here before. I mean, Indiana Tech, if you go the other way, you're going to run into Ivy Tech, which I, is... I can almost fix myself living here in Fort Wayne. Almost. I mean, it's got its benefits for sure. That's kind I mean, of I mean, there's still that part of me. I'm still, you know, I'm still a small city, rural community time kind of person. Right. And one of the good things about Fort Wayne is that there is so much... Now, there's the option if you want to spend money. They have, we have a hockey team, baseball team, all that stuff here. But if you don't want to spend money, there is 
a lot of opportunity for outdoor recreation and stuff that's free. Oh, okay, okay. We have a place here called, uh, I might reverse it. It's either George's Jungle or George, whatever. It's a place for kids. It's all bounce houses housed inside of a big building. You can take the kids there. They can bounce all day for free. Seven days a week. I mean, there'll be all the energy then. <laughs> right. That's pretty good. So Fort Wayne definitely is a family-friendly city too. Well, yeah, it's most definitely family-friendly. I mean, so friendly. Fort Wayne seems to be a kind of city that rather you're single, or you got a family, or it's just a, you know, whatever, you know, whatever age you are, Fort Wayne uh, appears to have something to offer. Yeah, they do. Now we're heading back down into the downtown district again. They do, they work on the parks a lot here. You know, yeah. expanding them, adding activities to them. Now, are the schools here in pretty decent condition? Like the public schools? I think they're as good as um, expected. Okay. Like, do they maintain the buildings decently? I have not been oh. in the buildings to know that. Okay, okay. Maybe somebody in the comment section can respond to that one. Right, yeah, I'm not sure on that part. I'm only familiar right. with one school here, and I don't have a complaint about it. Okay, all it's right. It's a great school. I've seen Fort Wayne putting in projects for special needs kids. It's absolutely amazing. Okay. They have, um... So it's a good place for special needs kids too then. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, right. they're working on supporting everybody here. Some of it's just like in the infancy phase, but they're starting, of course. So this is the Grand Wayne Center that you're passing right there. That's the convention center. Okay. Here's one of the murals, and I gotta go see if we go in there. Oh, okay. Turn down there. So, let's see. At the next stoplight, you're going to take a right. This is the main library. So, I mean, you see it's, it's a whole city block. I like to look at the different architecture here in Fort Wayne. As you travel through the different neighborhoods. Let's keep going straight. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. 5%. Oh, I didn't know you that low. How long do I keep going straight for? Uh, you go up and there'll be a roundabout up here. Oh, there's a roundabout? Yeah. Big couple blocks. Exit that one get off at to the right, the first one. Yeah, see that one? The first one. Mm -hmm. Is that Superior Street? Yep. I like too, they decorate their roundabouts, they turn them into sculptures. They put a sculpture in the middle of them. 
That's one up there where they just put a new sculpture in the middle of it. Looks like big flowers coming out. Like, it's pretty. They make it look. They make the confusion look nice. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, I remember when I first got to Indiana, those roundabouts were terribly confusing. No, I, I was privileged enough to live by a roundabout when it first opened up, and I was shocked at how well people navigated the roundabout. I mean, for, <laughs> for me, it was terribly confusing. Now, this is Promenade, so you can turn left here at the stop sign. Okay. And then we'll go by the side of it. But this is the, these are all brand new housing through here. They just... I see chairs up there. They must have gotten finished now and people are starting to move in, but this is one of the new housing projects here. Downtown, they run the scooters off during the summer. See the murals and stuff down there. So this is Promenade over here. This is where the river runs through there. You can get your... Uh, Okay. Boats and stuff. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of concealed in there. They have a little kids' playground down Keep here. Keep going straight. You can turn around here and go back into downtown. Maybe you can get it. I don't know if we'll pick it up from the car or not. That over there, that's the science center where you see all those colors. Oh, okay. That's the science center for kids. Way over there, that's the science center. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, people will be able to see a little bit of it. Yeah, see down there, that's where you... Of course, it's down in the bridge, but... It's on St. Mary's River. This is where you can get your kayaks. It's a beautiful park, though. I'm gonna let this person go. I wish I could get a closer view of that. Yeah, now see, they during the summer they have activities there, and those are outdoor games that people can just come up and play. There's a little creek. They call it a creek, but it's like. It's a little thing where little kids can walk through, get their feet wet. Okay. That's an art sculpture, of course. You know what? I need to let's see where can I go. Now, next. if you go straight, because this is another right. new area they put in, or they've been working on. Now, if you go straight. Mm -hmm. You'll see it. It's gonna be over there. You also can't get into it. It's blocked. There's a lot of walking in Fort Wayne. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff left blocked off to protect the pedestrians. Okay. So this is one of the new developments in here, okay. which of course the landing, it's different shops, restaurants, yeah, bars like, in there. Okay. Keep going straight, or which way should I go? Uh, you can just wander around. Oh, I'm want. on their mountain. <laughs> You'll start to see the trying to pinpoint from a car where the art walk is. They want to wander to a gas station. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, you see on a nice day that people are out here, they're walking around too. Yeah. I'm quite impressed with this city. Yeah, I mean, you're just, we're going to start now where I think we're going to get into a little bit of the art district a little bit. That's when you're starting going to see the murals and stuff. See, they'll start popping up. See, they're just like... I think we'll go this way. Visitor center's down there. Let's see, I don't know if we can, I think we can, if you can turn left here, turn left, because there's a really good part of the district down there. On this street right here? Yep, this street right here. And So this is what I was talking about earlier, the art walk. You'll see the murals in there along the buildings. So oh. this is like part of it. Look so more. It's on this. Okay. So you can just, that's all public stuff. You can just go there, sit down. Anybody can go there. 
But as you wander throughout the city, little things like that will pop up downtown, like, oh, here's a mural when you turn a corner. Yeah, they've done a good job fixing the city up. Yeah, I mean, when, 20, when 19 occurred, <laughs> they was busy over here in Fort Wayne <laughs> with art. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a little, I think it's a little old house. It takes some lessons on Fort Wayne. I have not been to Toledo, but I'm just well, I'm I used to live in Toledo. I'm impressed with it. Is it is the most it was the most depressing nine months of my life almost. <laughs> that city sucked. Now let's see. If you turn right here. Turn right here? Okay. Oh no. We're gonna go by it. There will be an okay. art museum in another park I'll tell you about when we get down there. Okay. Stay in this lane. You can get in the left one, but you're still gonna go straight. All right. This is the courthouse, of course, but you see, you ain't even doing it by yet. So, this park over here, during the summertime, when it, get, well, when it gets warm, the fountains will come on. When they come on at nighttime, they're rainbow colored. So the fountains will shoot up different colors. It's best I'm going to be able to do for that. And then, of course, the art museum is there on the corner down there. We'll go by you. There's a lot concentrated in the little area down here. A lot of different. So there's definitely, there's definitely a lot of activity here in downtown. Right. Now, uh, during the summer, they will put on, I mean, you'll have major people coming into Fort Wayne, and, it, and there's free. Just go to Park List, and you can hear it all throughout downtown. All varieties of music. So that, of course, is the art museum, art center. Going straight, or it's gonna take us into another district. I'm gonna keep going straight. That'll pull us out of downtown. That's fine, me. I mean, you can spend days <laughs> seeing everything that's down there and the specifics. Some of this traffic pattern, at least in my opinion, is kind of different. It is. Now, if you was to catch some of these streets, like at rush hour, they're going to run, not necessarily this close to town, but you get not too far out of town, they're going to be going 50, 60 mile an hour. Yeah, I'm trying to be about here by rush hour. The rush hour, I can't really do nothing because it's standstill traffic. Right. Yeah, you do got a it, it takes a little bit to get used to the driving because if you were pulling out on the street, you got to hit the gas and go if you're pulling out on a busy time because uh, this traffic's going to go, it's going fast to the main areas. I can remember I was showing somebody how, like, they was driving first and I was trying to show them the city. I'm like, hit the gas. <laughs> You're going to get hit from behind if you don't go. <laughs> you can't drive that slow. <laughs> yeah, here, kitty. It makes it a little unique, too, because the police department doesn't mess with you. Like, as long as you're not being dangerous hey, on kitty, the roads. You can't, you, can't, you can't get in my way. They uh, just let traffic flow. There's some other cities that have towns I've been in. Right. You know, there's speed trapping and all that stuff. Yeah, see, here in Fort Wayne, you got too much going on for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> People ain't got time to pull you over because you're going five miles over the speed limit. <laughs> right. Okay, I gotta get to a gas station here. You run into one. I'm gonna stay on this street. You want to stay on the street? Okay. I think 
We were here earlier. Yeah, we are coming the other direction. Oh, this is Lakeside Park. We're on Lake, we're on Lake. That's another one of their beautiful parks. Now this park, if you want to turn right up here, this park is a park, it's um, Lake Side Park. I feel that when you see this wide over here, they have a lot of weddings and stuff. Right. So it'll all be filled with flowers once the flowers start growing and they'll go all through there. And then the pools have water, of course, and fountains. I'm going to get off here and get into this neighborhood. But it's beautiful when it's, you know, everything gets flowering in there. That little pond over there you can fish in. I'm a sucker for these type of houses, even though I would never be able to afford one. They're still beautiful. I gotta readjust my camera. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's used to sitting where you're sitting. So I kind of messed her little routine up today. Yeah, she's funny. No, Kitty, I did not forget about you. get outside of the city that's when of course you start getting more of the newer housing developments and they can have those I like the older ones better more character mm -hmm. all these one way streets when I first come here Google couldn't figure out the one way streets she sent you down the wrong ones <laughs> She does pretty good about navigating around now. I guess it got familiar with your city. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Must be a school getting out or something. Yep, school's getting out. Well, I'm going to have to turn. I'm not sitting here like a dummy. Yeah, there's a Catholic school in this area. Side. I'm trying to figure what side of town this is. There's your sign there. Let's just show you to go back downtown. That's Main Street. No, that's not Main Street. You know what? No. This is where I need to go. This is Lake. So, I mean, if you go that way, you're going to head out of town. If you go to the um, left, go right, off. you're going to go downtown. 